Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Judy here. Um, I'm going to show you today a um, Zutter uh, bound journal, um, art journal that I've made. This is um, the binding rings that you see that are from um, what is called a Zutter machine. And um, I bound that together. I've got uh, the front, it's got chipboard. Uh, thick chipboard for the front and then the book is nothing but um, a thick mixed media craft paper uh, the back of it is also um, a really nice thick piece of hard chipboard very thick god it's probably like I don't even know what measurements it would be on thickness but um, and it's just an art journal you can put um, anything that you want in it. You can put in cards people give you. You can do scrapbooking in it if you want. You can doodle in it. You can do some collaging in it. Um, you know, whatever um, you feel that you want to put into it. Um, I've called this one Windows um, Windows to My Soul. Um, and so each thing that I'm going to show you throughout is kind of, to me, depicts or reminds me or I can interpret it into a, uh, a window of some sort. <clears throat> um, now the front of it here, um, I do have an opening that's on the inside here that this actually can be pulled out. Right now I have um, a card in here. <clears throat> And I'll show that to you. Um, it says, the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. The opposite of art is not ugliness, it's indifference. The opposite of faith is not hearsay, it's indifference. And the opposite of life is not death, it's indifference. Um, somebody named Ellie Weisel wrote that. Um, <clears throat> I have several of these cards that have some um, sayings on them that's been typewritten. Um, so I just had that slid into there and you can put in whatever you want um, and of course you'll be able to see it um, in the window. Now the front here was a bunch of um, collage that I um, decoupaged down. Um, a lot that you're going to see in here were made with, um, I put in jelly prints from PM Artist Studio. They were so gracious as to um, send me like a ton of jelly prints to choose from to um, pair up with um, my jelly prints and things that I had here to make this Windows uh, book that I had told them I was going to be making. Um, one of those stencils, um, or I should say jelly prints, um, that was in here was this one here and it was on a thin tissue um as well as was this one right here um and so i just got them all nice and down with um some uh collage page stuff um um my gosh my mind went completely brain mod podge <laughs> not collage podge i know there is a collage podge but i meant mod podge podge so let me go ahead and get into it and I will show you what I've got in here. I thought it turned out pretty good and um, I think it will be a lot of fun to play around with. Um, <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> here was a jelly print that I used on the inside cover. And <clears throat> right here, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, my goodness, I am so sorry guys. I've, I've had, I've been sick so... A little bit nasally and rattly and such, so if you could just bear with me. Um, but I had um, an embossing folder. I have some embossing folders that are windows, so I did that. Um, and just did some different embellishing. These are some beautiful stencils from PM Artist Studio. And um, then I wove some... I did some punching and I wove some decorative wire, or colored wire in here and put some beading on it. Um, there's another little bead here. I was trying to hang some beads off some of the pages so they hung outside the book. Um, I just like fibers and things hanging out of journals. I think it's kind of cool. So um, <clears throat> just have a decorative bead there. And I tried to incorporate sayings on the pages. So this one is raise your words, not your voice. It is rain that grows flowers, not thunder by a roomie. And <clears throat> then what I did is I left a couple of pages blank. For you to do collaging or doodling or notes whatever you want to do um, 
and then my next page, what I did on every page, in fact, I don't know if I did it on the first one. Let me see. Did I do it on the first one? I did. On the first one, if right here, the top actually opens. So that does open, and it's a pocket, and I have paper in there that you can draw on. So <clears throat> each start of a section has a decorative page, it has a pocket, and then you have one, two, huh? one, two, three, four, five, six pages that you can do your creations on. Um, the next one, let's see, let everyone sweep in front of his own door and the whole world will be clean. This is was said by a Joanne Wolfgang von Gothe, Gothe, maybe? Um, so <clears throat> this is has the stenciling in the back um, with um, um, these are like I said all gel prints and then these are some stickers that I had had um, from the Dollar Tree that had shutters and stuff and I thought those were real pretty so I incorporated those um, and what I did here is I punched a little flower punch right here and what you do is you pull right here and when you pull that out there is a card like this that's in each section um, after the first one and you can do whatever you want on that and then I did a decorative bead on it to help you kind of pull it out and stuff so on this I have like a tiger's eye heart and some beading um, these are a little hard to get in and out you have to be a little careful um, I like the idea that I did this where I punched it out so that I could have this be pulled in and out, but sometimes it's a little hard to line up the flower back with the page, but <clears throat> just have to work with it a bit. All right, so there's that. Let's go to the next one. You meet a friend, your face, your face brightens, you have struck gold, Cassia. Um, I think that is um, a very true statement. Um, and here I did some punches and then I have some paper that was marbled on, um, that was actually, I believe Don, my friend Don with the book vandal shop mar did that marbling on that page and I used that. This, I had a embossing folder that I cut out for the window. Um, down here is some really cool jelly, um, print from PM Artist Studio. It has like, I think it's an impasto on here. I'm not for sure what they did to get the texture on them, I'm just guessing. Um, or some sort of paste, but it's shiny and it's, oh, it feels really good. I like it. I thought it was really cool. So on this one, like I said, this is a flower. It's got a decorative uh, bead on it. You can pull this out as well like the other one. And it has the same thing. It's that blue card. I'm not going to pull each one out because, like I said, they're a little hard to get in. Some are a little more stiffer than others. It's just the nature of the um, craft cardstock type um, or mixed media paper. So then the next one, this one, I did a stencil of a face um, over some jelly printing on, I think it was like a really thin paper or tissue that was from PM Artist Studio. And then I, um, here's some more from PM Artist Studio um, with some texture paste on there. Probably light and fluffy. That is one of their favorites. Um, and I made that kind of look like the, the lance on there from the window and the, she's looking out. And um, this one says, before you speak, let your words pass through three gates. At the first gate, ask yourself, is it true? At the second gate, ask, is it necessary? At the third gate, ask, is it kind? And that is by a Sufi or a Sufi saying. Suffy, Suffy, Sufi. And like I said, then again, here is the opening. You can pull it. I've got a bead attached, you know, beads attached to it so that you can pull that string, you know, the string and get this out as well. Um, now they're either going to be come out the side or the top. It depended where I punched it because of however my uh, mixed media was on the page. Okay, um, next one. Um, this is. Um, one of my jelly prints in the background um, along accompanied with a PM Artist Studio one and then a window that I put in there and then there's just different uh, stamps that I did. Um, I stamped these and then I cut them out and I pasted them in here. Um, so we've got Fabulous, Smile, Dream, 
um, memories, friend, love, and kind. And then it has the definition for each one. And um, I really like this um, print right here. It's really smooth. I um, actually did this with oil paints on my jelly plate, which I don't think you're really supposed to use oil it's on your jelly plate, uh, the oil ones. But uh, I did anyway, but it's... When you use the oil paints, they just, they're so soft. <laughs> All right, so I got that one. And this one, this one does come out at the top. I didn't want to punch it on the side because it would have uh, messed up my one dream thing. So I started at the top there. And then, of course, my decorative little beads. All right, and the next one. Gosh, I hope I'm not cutting anything off. I moved my book around and... Oh, this is one of my favorite pages. Um, this right here is a big, huge stamp of a forest um, where you're like, say you were laying on the ground and looking up and you can see the opening of the sky through the the um, the trees and the woodland, the nature. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And to me, that is a definite window to me. It's just, it just just reminds me of a big window of just your sky, you know, your sky window but anyway this is like a little dark cloud that's up in the sky and then some little rain um not raindrops some stars i kind of made it like more of a, a a night scene and it is on top of a jelly pl uh, print from pm as well um and this phrase says when you come out of the storm you won't be the same person who walked in that's what the storm's all about um har har haruki murakami and then I did a stamp down here of um, the moon phases there and then down the side of the page there. And then, of course, this pulls out of the top there with some decorative beading. So, all right. And then the next one, uh, Jelly Prints again. Like I said, PM Artist Studio. And I will keep saying that because you guys need to check them out. My God, you guys, they have the best lives and they have the best stencils ever. Um, and this is a... A thing that I had done um, on a piece of separate uh, cardstock um, with some stencils and some um, specialty paper that I uh, decoupaged on there and I just did a brad and put that on there but when I did this I did some different uh, painting over it well when I did it ended up looking like a lady's head and like where she was like sitting up like with her knees up and so I emphasized it more so in the middle of that. I don't know if you could see that. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up just to see if you can see how I emphasized it, emphasized her. I'll go like that a little bit. But yeah, so I seen that and I thought, that's really cool. That reminds me of a little girl. And so I kind of got in there and played around with it to make it look a little bit different. And here um, I have happiness is found here. Happiness, good fortune, pleasure, contentment, joy, and then I put live, laugh, love, and um, dream. And that was just some that I put on there. I have more of those cards. I just didn't want to use every one up that I had. I do need, to, I want to make up some more of these sayings. I think they look really cute on just a simple, plain piece of chipboard off a cereal box or whatnot. However, you, you know, these. I, I just think they make really cute embellishments and stuff. So, all right. And then uh, this one is at the top with the bead. Well, actually, did I have bead? I thought I had a bead on there. I guess I must have came off. I guess I'll put one on there. All right. Oh, this is another one of my faves. All right. This one here, I used a mat. A frame mat and I do keep several of these on hand because mats in different sizes and stuff you can cut them up you can use them as is for mixed media they are so wonderful they're a really great tool to have um, so I did this window here as a window this back um, of this jelly print is actually mine however it does have um, stencils on it that are eyes that was one of the stencils from PM Artist Studio. So I emphasize this one here, looking through the window with a little rhinestone gem. Um, the saying here says, Precious jewel, you glow, you shine, reflecting all the good things in the world. Just look at yourself. Maya in Engelu. So I really, this is one of my faves. And this one is at the top to get out. And then here's the beading. 
Uh, and then we're getting close to the end. Now this one here, I I didn't know how I wanted to do this because I'm I'm thinking about selling was sell was thinking about selling this book and putting it in my Etsy store. But the more I look at it and the more work I've done with it, I think I'm going to keep it for myself. However, I probably will do another one something like it to throw in my store or if you're interested in one I could specially make you one I'm not opposed to doing that you just need to get on my Etsy store and shoot me a, an email uh, but anyway this right here was done with some um, impasto and then I cut it out um, to be like a frame like a window so I cut out the outside off of it because this was actually this piece was actually like a big piece that I had done um, but this is a stencil um, and I think this is Whirly's um, PM Artist Studio because that's the only stencils I basically use I do have a few that aren't theirs that I use but mainly like I said I use theirs because theirs are fantastic and I'm just I'm just hooked on them um, but anyway, when I cut this out, what was funny is I cut out the outside, then I cut out the inside, and after I did it, I thought, you know what, that looks like a lady. <laughs> it reminds me of a bust of a lady with, like, an overabundance of hair, um, uh, was my interpretation. And then I just left some chipboard here so that you could write your own saying on there, your own, um, inspiration. Um, and then what I did is, after I had cut this out, since I thought that that looked like a lady... I went ahead and I made it a lady. <laughs> so this I can actually take and leave in here if I choose to do so. Or it can be taken out. Um, like I said, I didn't um, mount it in there. Um, just so that if whomever had per would purchase this, they could do what they wanted in their own interpretation. However, like I said, I think I'm going to keep it for myself because I really like it. But I thought that was really cool. And, um, so that's that one. And then, of course, this one comes out the side. I've got some beading on that. And I guess we'll just stick it right there. And then, here's another one. This is PM Artist Studios. Or, no, actually, this was one of my gel prints. Um, and I just put some, um, extra, uh, paper right here. Um, actually, no, I can't. Why I'm messing up here. Sorry. I didn't put extra paper here. I'm sitting here thinking I put extra paper on here. This was actually I cut out shapes out of the jelly print. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, and I made this own card myself. And it says all these shards. I'm calling them like shards of glass. So like say this is the window. Okay. Because like I said each thing I'm showing you are my, is my interpretation of a window. Um, so these are where chunks of glass have been broken out of one big window. Um, so, with my saying here that I put on here, I put all these shards, all these cracks, bits and pieces of our hidden persona. Um, and that is as per Judy Perrin, myself. So, that's my saying <laughs> that I made up. And then here from the side, you can pull out that other part of the card stock that you can do some uh, fun stuff on. And that is actually, well, actually, it's the end of the book. However, on the very back page is another beautiful jelly print from PM Artist Studio. Love the colors and all their little, and I don't, and I apologize. I don't know what all the stencils are in here by name. I should. I have enough of the stencils, but, um, of their stencils that I should know. But I will put their link below and you can go and check out their shop. You'll be like in heaven. Um, so that's my book. Um, and I've had it done for a while. I have just gotten into other projects and time got away from me. And before you knew it, it was like, okay, um, this project that I was going to finish and, and put out to sell ended up, uh, sitting done behind me and every time I turn around there would be some other project I had to finish for one reason or another or a different video I had to do for one reason or another so I'm just getting around to it but um, like I said I am glad that you um, have joined me and um, hope you enjoyed looking through this book with me um, like I said if you're interested in something like this get on my Etsy store um, you can actually click on my Etsy link um, on the front um, of my page, my um, YouTube page there. You should be able to click on my Etsy store and um, and my Facebook page from there, right from there, and then just shoot me a message and and um, 
I'd be happy to um, talk about, you know, making one of these for you. But uh, as it stands, I'm going to keep this one for myself. The more I look at it, the more I like it. And I think I can uh, have a lot of uh, personal fun with it myself. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me and taking a look. And I will catch you on my next video. Happy crafting. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. I would certainly appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be doing here real soon um, a new video, um, actually a crafting video, not a showing of anything. It's going to actually, we're going to do some crafting together and it's going to be some decoupage. As a matter of fact, I will show you what it's going to be and it'll end up being a two-parter because I know I'm not going to get it done in one and I'd like to have it be a short series of videos. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be two to three videos, but I'm going to do this um, mannequin form here. And we're going to do some cool, fun decoupage on it. And hopefully you'll join me and have some nice conversation and uh, check it out. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me once again. And I will catch you on my next video. Happy crafting and stay safe. Bye.